strong. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while, and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. Team Slovakia's got the puck along the wall. Takes it across the blue line. Let's it fly. Cup scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in. A uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. Slovakia has got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. Assisted. Nice connection on the cross-ice pass. Nice pass. Gets a stick on it. Sends the pass over. Here's a shot. Scores! That's Ryan O'Reilly! Oftentimes a goalie will drop in the butterfly, take the chance that he's got everything covered. Not so here. This is up over the glove. It's a beautiful shot. Past the midway mark in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. And now he tries to get it across to point. Puts the puck on net. There's the goal ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. I think he goes down a little quick here, James. Drops into the butterfly. Thinks he's got it covered, but gets beat top bins on the stick side. Team Canada's got the one goal lead here in the opening frame. Better to be ahead than behind, and the coaches are telling them that they want more aggression. They want them to play more in the offensive zone. Marchand's got it in the offensive zone. Feeds it on over to Tatar. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. The first period comes to a conclusion. Well, if the first 20 minutes was any indication, you got to buckle up for these next two. That was a fun one. We got a 2-1 game after the first 20. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. Or listen to the online simulcast. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. <laughs> Receives the pass. Lays into the body. Sends it over. Scores! This is why you keep your head on a swivel. Defensively, you've got to find where the open man is. Otherwise, you've got a guy standing there pounding a one-timer from the high slot. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Back on a stick now. Stays with it. Marinson's got the puck. Shot comes up with the stop. Really good puck control by the goalie as he gets it out of danger. Scores! And the deadlock is broken. Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. This has to be frustrating. He's in the right spot. He makes the save. Well, at least most of it. The rest of it's in the net.
Slovakia's hard work pays off. They've gone up by one here in this second period. Even though it really shouldn't matter, it does change the way you play the game. Now that you're in the lead, you can dictate the pace of the game. Headman pass. There's the collision. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Shot denied by the goaltender. And the officials will pass the sentence here. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the pocket, he gets his stick caught in their feet. Slides it quickly to point. It's a three on one. He scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. Well, he gets to walk into this and pound it by the goaltender. Nobody picks him up in the high slot. Goalie's not going to get many of these. Team Canada's equalizer comes at a critical time of the game, late in a period, isn't it, Ray? Anytime you give up a goal late in a period, you feel like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. Looks to set up at the point now. Makes the save! There's the horn to end the period. This one living up to the hype so far through 40 minutes, tied at three. Hey fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we're welcoming all of our minor hockey kids here in attendance tonight. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. They've got the defense outnumbered. Oh, rocks them like a hurricane. Hey, look out. Get your head up, man. Break away. Oh, the puck was like an He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been level. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game, so when you do get one, you better take advantage. Really nice play. Team Canada's coaches look pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Taken by Chara. And now it's over to Chernak. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. In his own zone. It's a two-on-one. Here's the pass. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call from the official. Sin bin down for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Big opportunity here for them. They'll have plenty of time to work this five on three. Too many times on a long five on three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least. Shoot it and make the penalty killers react. Scores! Power play goal! Uh, critical for them to get on the board with the extra man. They move the puck well and they're able to capitalize. I never had much of a one-timer. That one right there is a bullet. He takes the pass, times it well, and hammers it home. Canada's goal now puts them up by two here with just minutes remaining in the third. Okay, channel your inner coach here. What are you saying? I'm trying not to let anybody be comfortable with the lead. Even though it's a great spot to be, I want guys staying aggressive so we can play in the offensive end of the ice. Sends it over to Huberto. From the point, looks to make something happen. He scores! Putting the special in special. 
special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Team Canada's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but, Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Now a quick pass to Chernak. Stamkos setting up against the wall. One-time shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. That's turned aside from the blocker. Canada's gained possession. Stopped by the goaltender. Whoa. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. Team Canada's all too aware. There's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. And he slides it quickly to Riley. Here's a shot! Scores! These are shots I think the goalie should stop, James. It's on the low part of the glove side. He just doesn't catch it. Team Slovakia's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. This neutral zone face-off set to go and we are back underway. Works it across to Yurko. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance right in front. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. It's hard enough to be the goalie when you have to stop the shot. This thing's like a rubber ball. It's bouncing all over the place and somehow ends up behind the goalie. That's a tough break for him. Canada's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances and they lead it late in this third period. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Great. They had plenty of opportunities to try to get that power play going, and they certainly did. Well, finally, with the having the power play advantage, you would think you're going to cash through a little bit. But the coaches made a couple adjustments on the power play on the bench, and it eventually paid off for them. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.